actually, for very many people, this is a very serious matter. The, the, not least, not least, the, your Scottish contingent of Conservative MSPs. Now, you have already said today uh, that the Scottish Tory leader, who's both an MSP and an MP, Douglas Ross, you don't think is a big figure in the Conservative Party. Tonight, we have been told that every single Scottish Tory MSP, that's 31 of them, the people that you depend on to hold up the union think that Boris Johnson should quit. That, I would suggest to you, is a very serious matter. Well, I, I would actually say that the Secretary of State for Scotland, who is a big figure, is very supportive of the Prime Minister, has made that absolutely clear. Douglas Ross has always been quite a lightweight figure, so I don't think Oof. that... Um, his, uh, so, his, so hang on, and, and hang on. the been, leader of the Scottish <coughs> Conservatives, an MSP well, and think, an MP is a lightweight I figure. Think, I think the Scottish Secretary is a much more substantial and important figure in this. Scottish well, MSPs. Um, I, you're reporting this without them actually having said this. Some of them have said, they need to say this publicly. If that's well, what we I have think. been told think, by a, a very uh, senior uh, Scottish uh, MSP. I, OK, I, I think they, these sorts of anonymous briefings are not necessarily entirely reliable. But I want to come back to your point about how serious this is, because the Prime Minister absolutely recognised in what, that in what he said today. And to go back to Fran Hall, nobody can hear her without feeling sympathy and the pain that people suffered. And that's why... Um, we had the restrictions that we had. Now, whether all the restrictions were the right restrictions is something that the inquiry, when it comes, will have to look into, whether it was all proportionate. But people uh, did do their best in very difficult circumstances. And that was what the Prime Minister was saying at the dispatch box. He understood how upset people were. That's why he has apologised.